The same amount of work is done whether we lift an object slowly or quickly. Power, which is indicated with the symbol P, is the measure of the time rate at which work is done. Power equals worker energy divided by elapsed time equals delta W over delta T. Work occurs when we apply a force through a distance. If the force is constant, then we have F dot delta D over delta T. But the combination delta D delta T is velocity, so power can be written as the dot product of the force and velocity vectors. In calculus, we also write power equals the time derivative dw dt. More power is needed to lift quickly. Power is measured in energy per unit time, or joules per second. The combination joules per second equals watts has been named after James Watt. One watt equals one joule per second. In the old British system of units, which is still used in only three countries, including the U.S., power is measured in horsepower, where one horsepower equals 746 watts. The U.S. public might be outraged if they knew that they were using the metric unit of power and insist that light bulbs instead be rated in horsepower, not watts. The muscles of a person can produce about 50 watts through a duration of several minutes. If you struggle with all of your might, then you can produce 100 watts, but only for a few seconds. It takes a lower amount of power to walk or drive along a road that winds its way up a hill, rather than traveling straight up the hill. A screw is an inclined plane twisted into a cone, and so reduces the power needed to drill and lift and such. What power is generated when a mother lifts her 10 kilogram or 22 pound baby through a distance of one meter in one second? Power equals work or energy divided by elapsed time. In this case, the work is MGH, which is 10 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times one meter divided by one second equals 98 watts. A case of soda also has a mass of 10 kilograms. Lifting a case of soda through one meter every second throughout the day is equivalent to the power generated by a 100 watt light bulb that is turned on all day long. Here is a line of eight workers who are going to raise a 13 kilogram metal pipe. The distance between each pair of persons is a couple meters. The video timer gives the elapsed time. Time begins here. And ends here. We estimate that the combined height is 15 meters. What power is generated? The power is worker energy divided by elapsed time. This time the work is MGH equals 13 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times 15 meters divided by 20 seconds equals 96 watts. So mom was stronger. A 200 horsepower car engine does mechanical work at the rate 200 horsepower times 746 watts per horsepower equals 14,920 watts. At what vertical speed could this engine raise the 2,000 kilogram car? We have power equals worker energy over elapsed time equals MGH over T where h over t is the vertical velocity v. Solving for v equals p over mg, we get 0.76 meters per second. 
which we multiply by 2.25 to get 1.7 miles per hour. The car seems to have a lot of power, but it could manage only 1.7 miles per hour straight upward. That's why we instead drive up winding mountain roads. The car engine does mechanical work against the air drag force, Fd equals kV squared. So the power is force times velocity equals kV cubed. If you double your speed, which means that V2 equals 2V1, what is the ratio of power requirements? We form P2 over P1 equals kV2 cubed over kV1 cubed. We cancel the K. We write this as V2 over V1 cubed. But V2 over V1 is 2, which we cubed to get 8. Doubling your speed means that the power needed to overcome air drag increases by a factor of 8. The engine also does work against ground friction at the rate P equals force times velocity equals mu k mgv. This heats the tires and scrapes rubber off them. For each of the zillions of tires on the road right now, where does that debris go? It is washed down the drain and into our sewage treatment plant. The car is using 15,000 watts. The power consumption of our civilization is about 20 trillion watts. A 1200 kilogram car has a velocity of 25 meters per second as it is driving up a roadway that is tilted by 2.8 degrees. What is the rate of work done by gravity? The gravitational force, mg, points straight downward. The angle between the two vectors mg and v is 92.8 degrees and we get power equals f dot v equals mg v cosine theta equals minus 14,000 watts. The calorie is a unit of energy. One big C calorie equals 1,000 little c calories, equals 4,187 joules. A person eating 2,500 calories per day is operating on a power of 2,500 calories per day times 4,187 joules per calorie times one hour per 3,600 seconds times one day per 24 hours equals 120 watts, about like a light bulb. A person can obtain this energy by eating 2.5 pounds of bread or 6.5 pounds of potatoes per day. One ounce of body fat stores 270 big C calories equals 1.1 million joules of energy. Stored chemical energies are much greater than mechanical energies of motion.